In this video, we are going to see what is this concept paper and why it is one page. Before going to that, we need to understand the seven steps of a successful protocol that is it to identify the topic, question and objectives followed by this one page concept paper. These steps are sequentially or chronologically very important, preparing the dummy tables, then writing a draft protocol and we need to prepare the instruments or the study tools and the annexures. Then we need to submit it to our peers for review to our ethics committee for further review. These are the seven steps of a successful protocol. You should not confuse this with life cycle of a research where we start from the data needs, then research question, then study objectives, then planning the analysis, data collection instruments, then data collection analysis, then drawing conclusions, then formulating recommendations, then inform to the stakeholders such as clinicians, patients, government or organizations, then that will further end up in some more data needs and this cycle continues. And why it is one page is because we can focus better and also the inhibition in preparing a big protocol will be avoided so that the abortion of small ideas will not happen. Also, it saves the time not only for us but also for our guide, for the people who do the peer review and the people review for funding also. So that's why we need it as a one-page concept paper. Now, what are the components of this one-page concept paper? Background and justification, objectives, methods, expected benefits, key references and budget. And in background, we should have minimum three lines that is one for the importance of the topic then we should tell about the known and unknown about the topic here you need to prove your strong subject knowledge but that should not be on three sentences then automatically it end in the justification or need for the study under objectives we can have two to three objectives you can be general or specific but you should mention your primary objective and secondary objectives under methodology we have to write in this separate heads that is study design and study population operational definitions sampling procedure, sample size, data collection methods, plan for the analysis and protection of the human participants all needs to be mentioned under methodology. Then we need to mention about the expected benefits, immediate action with our results and future direction of this research. Under key references, we should not have more than five references and we should follow international committee of medical journal editors styling is there. So you can follow that style and budget needs to be mentioned in four to five lines and it need not be a full justification of your study. Both ICMR pre-proposal formats and ISTS formats are similar to this concept proposal where the minor subheadings changes. Ultimately, this concept paper helps in easy identification of the workful projects, then organize ideas, then we can use the right choice of words for describing the study protocol and we can stand out when we are doing research that will automatically end up in positive response.